Hey guys, today we're going to make a cute miniature version of Agnes from Despicable Me, so I really hope you'll enjoy and let's get started. I first mixed up a skin color and then started sculpting the head. As I do with most of the miniature dolls, I sculpted the head on my sculpting base. This is just a matter of personal preference. If you wanted to, you could sculpt it directly onto an armature or onto something like a knitting needle or a needle tool. Her face shape is pretty simple, it doesn't have a lot of details, and as for the eyes, they're just pre-baked pieces of white clay. Add the nose and mouth, and then pre-bake. I used a piece of some light scrap clay to help smooth out the face. After pre-baking, I made room for a needle tool on the back and then added some clay, which you're going to see in just a second. And I then pre-baked again before making and adding the ears. Once you're done, you can bake the head one last time. Next, you want to make the armature, and this was made the same way as in my other doll tutorials. You then want to add some clay to the torso and neck, pre-bake, and then make the feet and hands. I did pre-bake a couple of times while making these, and it's completely up to you how many times you want to pre-bake. It's all a matter of personal preference. And if you have any questions about baking and pre-baking, I do have a video about baking on my channel. Once you're done, you can add the head to the armature. And on the top, you just want to cut a hole using an X-Acto knife to make some room for the wire and then bend the wire so that the head doesn't come off while still enabling the head to turn. I covered the hole using some fabric and then painted the scalp using some black acrylic paint. You also want to cover up the bare pieces of wire using some cottony stretchy fabric 
This way she'll still be able to move without having legs and arms looking like twigs. For the hair I'm going to be using black viscose which is really nice and smooth and looks quite shiny which is perfect for this project. I first divided it into small sections, added glue to the ends and then let it dry. You then want to glue it onto the head. I first added the bangs and then I used some tape to protect it while adding the rest of the hair. For the ponytail you do want to cut off some of the hair just so it's not as thick and then to help style the hair you can either use some watered down glue or some glaze. You also want to use some fabric to make her outfit and for the t-shirt I use four pieces, one for the front, one for the back and then two for the sleeves. You can use acrylic paint to paint the stripes. And then you're also going to need four pieces of fabric for the pants, one for the front, one for the back and two for the straps. I made a couple of simple buttons using Palmer clay. I also painted her shoes using acrylic paint and I then painted her face using pastels and acrylic paint. And if you do use pastels for the face you want to make sure to seal it with a matte glaze when you're done. Lastly, you just want to glue on some red fabric for the hair tie or scrunchie and you're done. 